It's been called the Green Revolution, a pioneering initiative that will help the environment and could create thousands of new jobs. 15,000 homes and other council buildings stand to benefit from the Birmingham Energy Savers Scheme, with ambitions to roll it out further in coming years. The buildings will be getting environmentally friendly retrofit work that includes solar panels in a bid to cut carbon emissions across the city. Well, today the Energy Minister popped in to see how it's being put in place, but some critics still say the government's getting it wrong on green issues. Callum Watkinson reports. Blue and yellow makes green, and today the coalition's Lib Dem climate change secretary was in Birmingham to throw some ministerial momentum behind the council's energy savers scheme. Right. So, I mean, this is how much of uh, the room did the uh, people lose? Is it, is it? Under the plans, all social housing in the city will be properly insulated and powered by the sun. Well, it's one of the leading uh, players in the country. Uh, it's going to be part of the Green Deal, which is a new government initiative working with local authorities and the private sector to try to make sure people can afford to insulate their homes, make them more energy efficient and to save money. It's an ambitious scheme with a potential value of more than one and a half billion pounds. It aims to reduce the city's emissions by 60 percent by 2026 and create 3,000 green jobs in the process. The sun may be shining on solar in Birmingham's public sector, but it's been a tough year for the industry. Last autumn, the announcement of cuts to feed-in tariffs, that's what households with solar panels make back from the grid, shook an industry that had been booming. The timing was overturned by the High Court, but the cuts are still coming, though more gradually. Well, we've cut the services because the cost of solar panels has gone down dramatically, mainly because of shoe production in China. And uh, it was unfair that a small number of people were getting lots of government subsidies to do a small number of insulations. Green lobbyists applaud Birmingham's efforts but say central government's energy on this is misdirected. Um, the draft energy bill put before Parliament really doesn't do um, enough to support renewables and has been mainly set up to try and uh, support nuclear which is just getting more and more expensive and more unrealistic to happen. Birmingham is doing great things but this needs to be happening across the country and at the moment the government support for that isn't there and it needs to be. So a boost to solar power from Birmingham City Council and a genuine ray of sunshine that the Minister is here to support it but following those cuts to feed in tariffs there are still plenty within the industry who doubt that the blend of blue and yellow in Whitehall is really as green as it claims. Callum Watkinson in Bordsley Green for Central Tonight.